Hello everyone and welcome to the second video of the decoder playlist. So in this video, we will going to cover the basics of electronics and especially the, the three gates, which is the NOT, the OR, and the N, and how all this three works. We're going to construct it in its basic form. So since the information processed by digital computers is represented by sets of electronic signals which may be considered to represent binary values, a given signal may be thought of as representing letter, a uh, 0 or a 1. Like in positive DC voltage, 1 represents positive and 0 represents negative. So the first thing that we're going to be talking is the... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, here, the the uh, wait. So this is the MPSA twenty. So yeah, right here. It's so tiny. So this is called right. This is a transistor, an NPN transistor. So the MPSA twenty is a general purpose NPN bipolar junction transistor, or the PJT that can be used in various electronic circuits, including digital logic gates. So when, when configured as a NOT gate, the transistor is used to invert the input signal. So it in, invert the input signal if we use it as a NOT gate. So, so the, M, the M, MPSA20 is an NPN transistor, yeah? NPN, so if you don't know NPN, so NPN is... So it has three layers, so layers of semiconductor material, an N-type layer uh, or the negative, the P-type layer or the positive, and the N-type layer, yeah, NPN. So the layers are referred to as the emitter, base, and collector, respectively. So the MPSA20, which is this, this tiny thing, can up operate in different regions, cutoff, active, and saturation. So in the cutoff region, the transistor is non-conductive. In the active region, it is partially conductive, and in saturation, it is fully conductive. So I will not talk more about the, the different type of, of regions, the cutoff, active, and saturation, because that's a, in a whole, whole yeah, maybe, maybe I will do a, uh, another video about that explaining the three region so but we'll not talk about this we will just gonna be straightforward so yeah that's that is an mpsa 20 transistor so so to use the mpsa 20 as a NOT gate use this as a NOT gate you typically connect the emitter to the ground the collector to the power supply and the input signal to the base so the transistor operates in the cutoff active and such a region region based on the input voltage at the base so when the input signal is at low or zero volts that the transistor will be in cutoff and no current will, f will flow into the base in this state the transistor is non-conductive and the output is at the high voltage so if we input a zero it, uh, it will output a one uh, conversely when the input signal is at high voltage or five volts the transistor transition from cut off to active and then to saturation so current will flow into the base into the base allowing the transistor to conduct in saturation there is a low resistant path between the collector and the emitter causing the output Put voltage at the collector to drop to near zero volts. So if we input E1, it will output E0. To demonstrate it, we will gonna be making these whole circuits. So what we need is the one MPS A20, a a one kilo ohms resistor, and a two twenty kilo kilo ohms resistor ohms and some LEDs and then wires. So first is since this is this is the emitter, 
this one right here in the left part and uh, and in the middle is the base and the collector is this so we will put it in our breadboard in our breadboard here and in the schematic the emitter is connected to the ground so the emitter which is in the, this left part is connected to the ground and the base is connected to the 220 220 ohms resistor and the switch one so will I will put LED for indication here so LED. put LED here Red is the input and the collector which is this in the right the right leg is connected to the 1k and is connected to the 5 volts so I will just connect it to the 5 volts to the to the positive rail of the breadboard and I will put an LED also for indicator, an indicator. So, I think this is it. And I'm gonna power, I, so this is a switch, this is our switch, I don't have a switch, so I will just put it in a power rail, power rail. So if I put it here, it will, I put it in the negative rail, it we, we will input a zero if I put it in a positive rail we will input a a a one or a five volts so let's power this thing I will put this in the uh, positive so let's power this thing <laughs> so As you can see, we input we inputted a our input is the the red LED and the output is the blue LED. So as you can see, we input a one which is five volts because I put this in the the positive rail. So the output is zero or nothing, zero volts or zero. Yeah, but what will happen if we we switch this to the ground rail so if we switch this to the ground rail if we input a zero the output will be one so that is an inverter it it inverts it it flip so so the truth table if we input a one so if we input if we input a one which is in the positive it will output a zero but if we input a zero to it it will output a one so that is the inverter and yeah that, that 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 is inside this thing somewhere in the ic i will explain it later so so that is an inverter so in our next video we will going to be talking about the or gate and the end gate so and in the next video we will going to be designing our own decoder so see you on the next one